mechanism of current flow through semiconductor diode. There are two ways of producing current flow in semiconductor. The movement of free electrons in the conduction band, and movement of holes in the valence band. When a battery is connected to both ends of a semiconductor, the mechanism of current flow in N-type and P-type semiconductors. In N-type semiconductor, free electrons are the negative charge carriers. Free electrons that gain kinetic energy move to the positive terminal of the battery. A hole is an atom short of an electron when a free electron leaves on atom, and this hole may be filled by another electron. Thus, hole move from atom to atoms towards the positive terminal of the battery, while electrons from neighboring atoms are pulled to fill the holes. The movement of these hole constitutes the positive charge carriers. In N-type semiconductors, current flow is produced largely by movement of free electrons and to a lesser extent, the movement of holes. Current flow is in the opposite direction to the movement of free electrons. In P-type semiconductors, current flow is produced largely by movement of holes, and to a lesser extent the movement of free electrons. Holes appear to move towards the negative terminal of the battery, while free electrons move towards the positive terminal. Thus, the current flow is in the same direction as the movement of holes. The resistance of a semiconductor decreases to produce a larger current as temperature rises. This is because, more hole electron pairs are produced by the breaking of the covalent bonds in the semiconductor. Thank you for taking time to watch this.